the article titled Depression and Anxiety Linked to Lower Levels of Heart Health in Young Adults was written by Kat Wallen for the American Heart Association. I chose this article in relation to uh, nutrition and body composition um, because I believe that proactively seeking heart health is a excellent decision for anyone, um, especially those who are predisposed to heart health issues due to their uh, genealogy, um, parents, etc. So the article um, cites several statistics. Um, uh, and it is primarily focused on adults, young adults, ages 18 to 30 through 34. And um, the article specifically cites uh, federal sources um, and statistics, one of which being that 8% uh, of adults showed uh, signs of moderate to severe depression in 2019. 8% of adults, um, young adults in the United States. I would be interested to see what those numbers look like today or over the past year in 2020. Could be much higher. Most likely it was and still is. Um, but uh, this stress, moderate to severe anxiety, uh, has been linked um, by some professionals uh, to heart-related issues. And uh, these younger adults uh, who may in the past um, were overlooked in relation to heart issues um, are now being uh, linked to these kinds of uh, problems and um, health related issues uh, due to their uh, mental state and um, situations, some of which uh, may be totally uncontrollable. Uh, as I said before, I chose this article and this specific topic because I believe it uh, is very important for everyone to constantly be thinking about their heart health. Um, from diet to uh, habits, um, and exercise, everyone should be taking proactive steps to keep their heart as healthy as they can. Uh, and um, buy where someone's health and wellness coach uh, and um, if they were young, old, I would advise them to, of course, think about their diet, exercise, but more importantly, uh, I would encourage them to monitor their heart rate, keep an eye on their heart health, and uh, of course, do what they can physically, uh, diet-wise, to uh, create the best case scenario for uh, their body, specifically their heart, especially if their parents had heart issues, their parents' parents had heart, heart issues, their family has a history of heart disease, etc. cetera. And um, I believe that this kind of health and wellness coaching, um, heart-related specifically, uh, heart-related um, topics of discussion and uh, mo this motivating factor to eat right 
stay active um, within their means could be beneficial to not only these young adults who uh, have moderate to severe anxieties um, and are at a higher risk for um, heart problems, but to uh, uh, pro athletes, to uh, seniors, um, I would show them this material because, uh, as I also said before, um, the percentage of moderately depressed to severely depressed adults in the United States is most likely higher than it was in 2019 and the years before that. Um, With this uh, mindful and um, proactive uh, mindset um, related to uh, a client's heart health um, or just health in general, um, I would come at it with a, uh, a, a um, a positive and a safe base uh, angle um, and keep in mind, I would keep in mind uh, to not only um, attempt to preserve and protect uh, the temple that God has given me, my body, and respect that gift to the best of my ability, but I would, I would encourage um, potential client or even uh, friends, acquaintances to do the same through uh, example and um, through witnessing um, the word of God and uh, specifically um, First Corinthians. Um, I would tell them that your body is a temple and uh, it's a temple for, if you've accepted Christ, it's a temple for the Holy Spirit. And um, the best place to start with all-around health, one of the best places is uh, heart health.